Welcome to our lesson about the make part command. In this lesson, I'm planning on reusing a sketch that I created for a previous lesson. We're going to create an assembly and insert a part into this assembly, but it'll be in a slightly different way than we've done before. Let's begin by going to the Manage tab. Previously, we've used Derive. This time, I'm going to the Layout panel. I'm going to click on Make Part. And here's the Make Part dialog window. Let's select the first sketch, the base, the part name, I will name it Base, Part Location, Folder 25, Place Part and Target Assembly is checked. And if the assembly doesn't exist, Inventor will create the assembly for us based on these specifications here. The assembly location, let's browse for folder 25 and save. OK. And Inventor creates and launches our assembly and inserts the part automatically. As you can see, the part is grounded. Let's double click on the base, activate the extrude command. Let's change the extrusion direction, as well as the depth, to an eighth of an inch, OK. And let's return to our assembly. Let's go to our layout sketch. Activate the Make Part command again. Expand the Sketches folder. Select Block. Part name will be Block. Once again, the folder location is 25. Since the assembly already exists, Inventor will insert this new part into the existing assembly. And let's click OK. Here's our block, and as you can see, it's grounded as well. Inventor preserves the original position and orientation of the sketch. Let's activate the extrude command now. We'll modify the depth to half an inch. OK. And return to our assembly. Let's click on our layout sketch, activate Make Part. The last part here in the Sketches folder is the cylinder. Part name will be Cylinder. Folder 25. And OK. And the cylinder now appears in our tree. It's grounded as well. Let's double click to make some changes. Activate the Extrude command. A 1 inch extrusion is fine. Let's click OK and return to the assembly. Now let's edit block 1. Double click on it. And right click on Layout Sketch. Let's select Edit Derived Part. Expand the Parameters branch. Here's the length parameter that we created in a previous lesson. Let's click OK. Let's double click on Extrusion 1. Select List Parameters here. OK. And let's just delete the rest of this text here. OK. And let's return to our assembly. Let's go back to the layout sketch and make some more changes. Let's say this dimension will be 3 inches. OK. Update. Return to the assembly. Update again. And as you see, the assembly follows the modification we made in the layout sketch. Now let's go ahead and save everything. Click on the Save icon in the Quick Access toolbar. Do we want to save changes to the assembly and its dependence? Yes, we do. Click OK. And this concludes our lesson about the Make Part command.